Yo, what a miracle. Okay, so I want to say hi to everyone. Cheers, Legs, Patrice, Abba, and of course, Scotty. Let me just turn on the thing. On the musical. Nice. nice. Yeah. Geschmack. And we got, um, we got Yako. Yo, yo, this guy right here, his name is Shlomo Yako. Okay. His name is Yako. Yeah. What's up, bro? Yeah. All right. So, yesterday, we we learned that like God actually like gets like gets, like bugs out for like one second, one tiny second in the day. You have a great night, Yanko. Yanko. So we learned yesterday. Oh, God. Great idea. For, uh, for helping us with uh, balancing. Okay, so yesterday we learned that God, right? Um, the Father, as you may know him, um, he uh, he gets like angry. He like loses his he like loses his throat for one second a day. And do you remember? Do you remember in in um, Numbers? It's good, it's good, it's good. Do you remember in Numbers? Remember in Numbers um, when the story of Bilam and Balak? So um, they, they wanted to, uh, Balak wanted to curse the Israelites. And so he brought Bilam to curse them. And like he wanted to, but he, but he said, How, who can I curse if God is not cursing them? And what he meant was that I can only curse the Israelites um, like it, if God like allows me, right? And the way that he would allow him was like Bilam knew that time. They say that Moses was the greatest prophet of the Israelites and there was no one like Moses amongst the Israelites, but Bilam was the prophet of the nations, right? Mm -hmm. And um, he tried to curse, he tried to, he, he's like, fine, like, let me curse him, but he, his curse was all switched to, uh, to blessing. And so that's Bilam. And so he, but he knew the time usually when God got, when God got angry. And I always, I really, I always thought, you guys, that it's very interesting that God gets angry because we always look at anger as a chisaron, as a character flaw. And so, like, why would God get angry? Like, God is perfect, right? So I wanted to say like this, that possible tarot, possible answer is that God is not getting angry because he can't, like, he can't, like, he can't, like, keep his shit together, you know? God's not getting angry because he can't, like, hold it together like sometimes a human gets might get angry because he's tired right or he's hungry angry with the abishter with the ribono shalom um i want to say that he gets angry and then immediately gets out of it it's like it's like it's like a tiny fraction of a second and the reason is, is also to teach us and to show us that like yo you got pissed okay you can bounce back and so so that's the shot that what it means that God gets angry. That's maybe how I wanted to, to be with Tarek. You guys like that shot? Yeah. It's a cool shot. It makes me think of uh, Rashi on Reach Nikoach Hashem, right? Because that's like from the opposite aspect, right? There's the, there's the idea in the Torah of a pleasing aroma for Hashem, right? Which is also a strange Lashem. But Rashi says that it's that he what's the pleasing aroma that he Hashem spoke and his will was done. So I wonder if there's a relation there. Right. Very good. Every every anthropomorphizing idea we have that question about. Right. But um, a positive one that he's pleased or he's happy that I can understand. But anger by God sounds contradictory. And so I want to say that, like, yeah, he gets angry for that second and then immediately gets out of it to teach us how to bounce back, which is uh, not always nice. easy. We should always do Zohar. Um, we should marry it. <sighs> okay, so we learned about that. But now, but now we're saying, welcome to the Zoom user. Now we're saying, Amos Ratach. You guys know what Amos means? Amos means when. When does he get angry? Okay, yesterday we learned that he gets angry for a split second. Then we said today in an explanation. But when does he get angry? Amar Abaye says Abaye, in the first three, 
hours. Remember, the day is split into four groups of three hours. We learned uh, a few days ago. And so it says, but plus Kamaisa in the first group of three hours. That's when you get to your wife. Why? Ki Ivra Karbulasa de Tarnagosa Koshasa Vishasa Mechaver Chivra Koshasa Isbe Suraiki Sunki Hahi Shaita Lesbe Suraiki Sunki. Wow. Okay. This is crazy Aramaic. This is a crazy. This is a crazy Aramaic. Um, um, this is a crazy Aramaic saying. It says that, how do we know that it's in the first three hours? So I'll tell you how we know. Because the, the whiteness of his, of his, of the feet of the, t- of the chicken, every hour and hour, they show like, they show like whiteness. Kosha is Suruki Sumki. And the chicken, he always has a red, a red, um, what's it called, Scotty? Do you know this thing? No. Maybe. Okay, recording in progress. He's back. Good night. Good night. Good night, Marguerite. Okay. And we're back. And we're back. All right. <laughs> yeah, Sorry about that, Are guys. Like the Wi Fi cut out for a brief second. All good, bro. Don't worry. We're super chilly in over here. Yo, Patricia, by the way, is from Chile. That was a wordplay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, Kirega Po. Okay. So, at that, to- the, 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 the crest. Hours, yeah. The crest. Yeah, nice. The crest is always red. Hahu shaita, but at that second, Lespe Sorki Smuki, his crest is not red. Oh. oh, that's how they know that that's the time. He's saying that there's this there's this time. There's this time that like his crest stops being red. Mm-hmm. And that's how we know that that's the time that God gets angry. Okay. <laughs> I always thought red was the color of anger. Oh, yo, did you guys hear that shot from Scotty? Yo, did you guys hear that shot? Do you guys hear me? He, he said that Scotty's like, yeah, red is the color of anger. He's like, I said red is the color of anger. I was like, yo, that's ah, it. So, that's, so red is the color of anger. So like the so the difference happens like when it loses its red. Maybe like God is like borrowing the red from the Tarnagal for that second. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I need that red for a second. Yo, great very shot, Scott. Very, very great shot, Scott over here. Great shot, Scott. Um one one. <laughs> yeah, Gishmak, man. Okay. Rabbi Yehuda ben Levi Haya Mitzayer Le Hahumina. So there was there was a min who was bothering Rabbi Yoshua. Now what's a min? A min is is an Israelite, right? But that there's an Abikoras and there's a min. And Abikoras like doesn't like says that there's no like there's no God. And a, a min, really, a min is like is like a Jew who like went over to like the side of the Shiva. You know, that's a min. And he was bothering Rabbi Yoshua. Because you know, like the, the Yidin Jews that go off the derech always try to like always try to like they, they, like, they go off the derech, like Rabbi Elisha ben Avuya, like, yeah, he went off the derech, but he was still like going to like the base medrash and like hawking the shinik with like the kids, right? And like asking them for telling telling verses. So there was a min, right? A min is someone, it's not that he says that, it may, a min is someone who says the Torah is not min Hashemayim, maybe. Now, because he's saying, is like, he's like, he's not, not God, not, a min is saying that I'm blibing, I'm blibing. I'm saying like, I don't know, like it could go, it could, it could be different explanations, but a min is someone who's no longer practicing for sure, right? Okay, so Hahumino, he's bothering Rabbi Shubham Levi. Bikrai Yomachad Naka Tarnagola Vuk me bin kire de arsa. So he was he was like bothering this rabbi, right? Oh my god, so classic. I'm kind of on the side of the min. I think this is so funny what he does. He takes a chicken and he puts it 
between the, like the legs of the bed, right? The ayin, the ayin ba savar, the ayin ba, and he was watching him. He was watching savar kimita. He thought it was a bed. Hahi shaita altia. Savar kimata hahi shaita altia kimata hahi shaita. Mim name like oh so he was like oh he's like he's like oh he said at that time then oh Altia I'm gonna curse him I'm gonna be like oh you're so dumb like you just like fell for it like you thought it was a bed but really it was chickens <laughs> he replaced the legs of his bed with chickens <laughs> right and so he's like at that. So he said, He's like, yo, I'm falling asleep. My prank is like not working. Like, it seems like this is not like the, the way of the land, like to do this. Okay. Now the, now the Gemara is going to say a verse. So um, first we're going to see if there's a Rashi. There's a Rashi. No Rashi. Oh no, Shlashka is my That's the time that he's angry at the beginning. Okay, that's it. That's the only Rashi. Okay. So now he says a verse, and his mercy is on all of his creations. And his mercy is on all of his creations. Uh, is, that, is, that in the, is that in the Zechariah thing? Yeah? His mercy, maybe. His mercy on all of his creations. So, yeah, Shlags, what's the question? The question is the three hours. Well, it's obviously in Tehill and the Nafte. The three hours that we're talking about, what period of the day is that? It's the first three hours of the daytime. We split the day, uh -huh. which is 12 hours, into four periods of three. My dad's very proud that I got the math right. Now, what, what is daylight? Is 14 hours a day or? Oh, 10 that's hours a good a question. Day? So you're saying that every hour is 60 minutes and you're saying according to like, like the Shiva hours, according to like, no, according to like the, the hours of uh, like, okay. so the how like 20, we do it nowadays. You're saying the first 25% of the day. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Whatever, whatever sun up and sundown is. That's, yeah, yeah. And so and it's, called, it's called, it's called, it's an unbelievably, unbelievably insightful question, Scott. And it's called Shaus Manios, means like times, like time, an hour is not the same day to day mm -hmm. in, in like halacha. So what's what's stop? Is it when you see the sun coming over the horizon or is it uh, uh, as soon as there's light? Uh, another great question. You guys hear this guy's freaking lumped I'm a technical person. No, I, I, I graduated uh, engineering, so amazing. I am a very technical person. Gamar asks awesome. those exact questions. Like, it's, <laughs> it's amazing. Gamar asks. So the answer is, is that a person wears tits, is he wears, like, wearing a four corner garment, he wears, um, he wears like strings off it. Mm -hmm. And one of the strings, or two of the strings, or four, like, right? Some uh, a certain amount of the strings, and like, I think it's like one of the strings that comes out to two. Um, but it's there's different opinions maybe. Um, is blue is the sky is color of, of uh, a deep, deep royal blue. Mm -hmm. I need royalty because I bleed royal, right? And so when you can tell the difference between that, it's considered day. When you can tell the difference between the white and the blue. Thank you, thank you. I don't mean to interrupt. What? I don't mean to interrupt, but thank you for explaining. No, dude, it's not an interruption at all. This is like how like Torah is learned. It's a schmuck. The schmuck question for real. Um, so it says in one place in, in Psalms in Tehillim, it says that his mercy is on all of his creations. And it says, Gam Enosh Lotov. So there's another verse in um in in this is in Proverbs. It says, I will also punish a tzaddik. Wait a second. You're telling me that his, his, his mercy is on all of his creations? And then you're telling me that he's punishing a righteous person? It doesn't stim. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't jive, right? Um, so Tana Mishmed the Rebbe Meir. So Rebbe Meir says, Rebbe Meir was a student of Oisha Ben Avuya, who we learned about in last, uh, last time. 
who uh, he also he went and he started he became a Satanist basically. Um, um, but still, he was hanging out, hanging around the base managers and learning Torah. Um, so and this is his student who, and it's even though his his rabbi was like a Satanist, he still continued to learn Torah from him. Very very interesting Maisa. So this is the, that guy who learned from him. So they taught in, in his name. At the time when the kings take their crown off their head and they bow to the sun, to Mithros, the sun god, who, by the way, was the only deity represented on the Ark of Constantine. There was no crosses. This is why I say that Constantine maybe wasn't like really authentic in his acceptance of Christianity because there was no crosses in cross imagery. There was only imagery of Mithras, the sun god. And if you want to imagine for, you, for yourselves what Mithros, the sun god, looked like, take a look at the Statue of Liberty. It is the Zelbazach. It's the same thing. The Statue of Liberty was re is really Mithros, the sun god. Um, yeah, we'll take some, we'll, we'll show some pictures and Okay, so anyway, it's Mishtachim and the and so they, 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 they bow, they press with ties or whatever, press with tape to the sun. Miyad Koiz Ah, so Remeir, ah, so Remeir is saying a completely different thing. Remeir is saying is, no, why is it that, why is it that time? Right? It's not, it, it's not the time with the, when like the guy loses his crest, redness. Remeir says, no, it's not, it, it's the time when the when the kings bow to the sun. Okay. So, but what? But what about the what about the contradiction that they? That they that they brought that his mercy is on all of his creation and then it says wait wait a second and it doesn't even say that it's bringing contradictions it just says bringing two psukim and this is gam enosh le tzaddik lo tov and he says and then Remeir says no the reason that that God gets angry during those three hours during like at, at some point during during those three hours is because that's the time that the malachim bow so now. By the time to go, by the time that the chickens, it doesn't have to be necessarily the same time that the chicken's crest changes color. It could be like during those three first, oh, oh, it's not a two, two opinions. It's not a contract. It's not like they have the one opinion, the other opinion. The mayor is explaining why is it during those first three hours? Because at some time during those three hours, the kings get up, they take their crown off and they pray to the sun and God gets pissed for one second, right? It says we said a tiny fraction of a second. We said yesterday. We said one in five in fifty three thousand and and eight hundred and eighty fourth of an hour. So basically, of a, of, a, of, a, of a of a moment. Okay, so I don't. It, it has to be that there that like part of that. Low litsli inish slosa the musfi the plus shai kamaisa. Ah, so everyone who's davening Vasikin's got to deal with this Raviosi. Anyone who davens really prays really early has to deal with this because you're not a person not supposed to daven filas musaf, right? Now there are three davenings that you daven every day Shachras, Mincha, and, Mo, and Maru. On holidays and on the first of the month and on Sabbath. There's an additional, there's an additional sacrifice that they would bring in the temple. So therefore, there's an additional, um, there's an additional prayer. It's called Musaf, and you shouldn't say Musaf in the first three hours, the, um, in the first three hours of the, or in the first twenty-five percent, like you said, um, of the day, uh, Biyoma Kama, Biyoma Kama of the first day. Kamaisa, and oh, so he's saying in the in the shaschar, 
Oh, regular the pose. Um, the rega the apple. Right, suraiki. By the way, Rashi says kmo chutin chutin v'loshon yishmael kor in the chut suraika. So Rashi just explains that the reason that they call the 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 crest suraika is actually an Arabic word. Okay, and it says lav levar. It's the chavin shazamo. Oh, he's like he's like I'm not gonna figure it out. I fell asleep at the time. I'm not gonna figure it out. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay. Um. So a person shouldn't say musaf. A person shouldn't say, say the, the musaf prayer at that time in the first three hours of the day. Biyom akama dar darish shaita dar shaita biyachid dilma kevan the ma the mafkid dina dilma meaine beuvde the dachfule mitri. So, uh, oh, the Gemara makes an unbelievable inference, an unbelievable deal. It says that it's only talking about like if, uh, that a person is davening yachid, if he's not, if he's praying by himself, so he shouldn't he shouldn't do it in the first shouldn't say most of in the first three hours. Why? Because during in the first three hours, there's like an extra hakpada. There's like an extra, an extra like you know, there's an, like God that gets angry during that time. So there's an extra scrutiny. And since there's the extra scrutiny, the korban might be, might be, uh, might be not accepted. So we say, wait a second, ihachi tzivornami. We say, if that's the case, that like the prayer might not be accepted in the first three hours. So then also, when a person prays, um, in in with a group, you know, like a lot of times, like Jews get together and they pray together. It's called a minion. You need like ten men. And you know, like, like, like there are some girls be like, "Oh, what about us?" You know, but the rule is ten men. So they say, "No, no." They say, "The tzibur nafish zichuse." They have a lot of merit. Um, so then the Gemara says, "Well, like, if, if it, okay, fine." So the tzibur has a lot of merit, but the yachid, the singular, the singular person. The, Okay, so the ikat sibura de kamatsu. We're back. Lo kamitri. All right, great. We're back. And we're back. And we're yeah. back. And we're back. Yeah. And we're back. Yeah. And we're back. Yeah. yeah, nice. That's from uh, it's Jerry. It's um from Saturday Night Live. Uh, the guy, um, Jimmy Fallon. Okay. Um, and we're back. Um. So he says, but he's David, he's praying at the time of um, that 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 everyone's that everyone's praying. Meaning, most of different people daven it. Most of his kosher kolayom. Most of different people are are praying it at different times in the day. So if someone's praying by himself, he really he shouldn't do it the first three hours. But in the in Shachris, the morning prayer, even if he's praying by himself, still in the first, still like. Everyone else is davening that time also, so his prayers will be like included with theirs. Um, right? The Ha'amar, I but doesn't it say, that the first three hours God is sitting and steiging? So what do you, right? We, said, we learned that a few days ago. Then the first three hours, HaKadosh um, Baruch Hu is sitting and steiging Tyra. So it's, time of, it's time, of, time of anger. When God is learning Torah, it's like the most gishmak thing ever. Um, that God is sitting and learning in Torah. So we say, so we say ipoch. So what we, what we mean ipoch over here? He says, oh, it's the opposite. It's the opposite. You could you could play by the way if you want to play like a musical uh, accompaniment. Okay, at the end. Okay, at the end. Well, I mean, okay. Um, oh, thanks. So. Um, so we say epoch that no, maybe it that, that wasn't the first three hours. Meaning he's playing with the Leviathan. We're switching the fourth and the first. That he's playing with the Leviathan in the first three hours. And like maybe maybe that's what epoch means. Epoch means the opposite. The epoch is aimal the old No, it's not the opposite. We're not gonna we're not gonna switch it, switch the opposite. Um Torah MS. Torah is called truth. Right, because it says MS Khan of Al Timkor. If you acquire the truth, do not sell it. In a Kaddish Baruch Hu, Osel if Nimi Shura Sadin. Ah, so said, yeah, it's true. God gets God gets angry and he's mocked during the first three hours because Torah is called truth. And so, like, you get what you like, 
you get what you get. In those three hours, the guy's learning Torah. He's like, he's really feeling the lumbers, and like he's like he's ma- he's more mocked it, you know, like when he's learning, he's more like you know stringent or scrutinous. Um, and so therefore, you wanna when you're davening Musaf, you want in the first three hours when you're praying Musaf, you want you're gonna wanna have um, a, a quorum of ten Israelites. Um, the Altim, right? So it says MS, right? MS kind of Altim core. In, so Kaj Baruch doesn't do it um, within the, the Shura said then, within like the letter of the law. Din, the low Siv Bay, MS. Kaj Baruch also have named Shura said then. But Dane, or maybe it's like the other ones, uh, it's not saying MS. Oh, I Din, the low Siv Bay, MS. Right. Oh, this is amazing. It says MS Kana. Right. And the Shneos in the second one, he's 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 judging. The second one, he's judging. That's what it says that, that he's he's done his call and cool, judging the, the whole world. So this MS Kana, Rashi says that you acquired truth. It says Hoti Hosas al Talmud Torah. Now, what do you mean you acquired MS? You acquired Torah is because you like gave you like you like you like took a monetary hit. You you put out money. In order to learn Torah, you spent money in order that Torah should be learned. That's what Rashi says. And he says the Al Timkor don't sell it. He says the Chinam Limud Acherim that you sell, you teach to others, but you teach it for free. You spend money to like to learn Torah, but the teacher teaches it for free, right? The Chinam that's um that's what it seems to say. The Chinam Limud Acherim. It says Din, but Din it doesn't say. I mean, the second the second group of hours it doesn't say. It doesn't say, by the way, really a person, um, that's very interesting, right? Amazing. Din doesn't say, and we're back. back. Uh, Din, <laughs> lo ksiv be emes, doesn't say, it says, v'ha dixiv. It says, I, so Rashi asks a question. Rashi has a question. I, but what about the fact that there's a verse in Psalms that says that the laws of God are MS? So it does say MS, it does say truth. They're written in the Torah. Um, that's what's talking about above. Um, but, but above it says that the, that the laws of God are. are Recording in progress. Okay, I just switched um to mobile, so I shouldn't have any Wi-Fi issues. So we saying that. Okay, Baruch Hashem. Good move, Patrice. Amazing. Sky of God. And uh, Um, so it says that the Muslim on Rosh Hashanah. And we know that Rosh Hashanah were like extra stringent, you know? People, there are people that stop eating walnuts between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Oh, by the way, me and Scotty met at Rosh Hashanah, we met in Uman. Uh, Unbelievable. We Unbelievable. did. It was a good time. It's true. <laughs> yeah. So, um, we've been friends for almost a year, and we're, we're thinking about whether or not we're going to go back to, to Uman. Uman for uh, one year anniversary for Rosh Hashanah. We're going to get the way to look at it. Uman's but. too epic. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but on Rosh Hashanah, it's he's davening Malchios, Chrono, Shofros, Mikva, Dina, It's like it's it's a special, it's a special time, it's a special, um, it's a special day, and so on Rosh Hashanah, the Lo Yifrosh Adam Atim and Atzibor, he's just super super careful to daven to pray with a group, right? And it's, it's Dafka on Rosh Hashanah. Unbelievable that the Gemara that we learned together with Rosh Hashanah. And so there he he uh, um. Uh, does so so even though it's the time of judgment the second the second 25 percent the second three hours even though it's time of judgment but it doesn't say ms by judgment and so since it doesn't say ms god can go the thunim mishura said he can be he can be um he could be like more forgiving and more like less 
that's like hard as you know. I, I mean, this is Gamar's word, not hard as, but like you know, the idea that's the best. That's the that's the word. If anyone has a good uh, another good word for that, anyways, Patrice, how much time do we have left? I still haven't gotten the notice, so I believe I think in about um, three minutes we'll okay, have ten I minutes did, left. If you didn't get notice, I see. I see the remaining time on my screen. It says we got a little bit less than five minutes left. A little oh, less than five. No notice showed up for me, which is strange. No notice showed up. Okay, Bly, because like the whole like in and out, back and forth, back and forth, check and forth. Right. That's the correct time. Um, Kevin does the I know. Okay, so. Um, this is actually like not a bad place to stop. Let's see a taste of this. Okay, let's see a taste of this. That... So Toso says, that, Yeah, but if he's, if he's davening shacharis, davening morning prayer, and there's other people davening at that time, so it's not going to be pushed away. Perish Rabbeinu Tam. So Rabbeinu Tam says, this is from like a thousand years ago, the Bali Toso, the ones who, they, some of them were killed in the crusade. You know, I, I remember I singing that song that they wrote this. They wrote it with their with the blood. Tell me, tell me what All right, saying. what is it? Pierce Tom says, "Had the mash mahacha." That implies over here, the mahani afilu shat sibur mispaul and b'makom ech acher. That it helps even if the the group is is, is praying in another place. Hainu dafka de lo It won't be. It won't be. It won't, it won't be just like automatically, or it won't have. It won't be like pushed away. Ava eno nishmas. But it's only heard in a place where the, the, the majority, like many people, are praying. Like we say in the first, first chapter in Brachos, so it's not heard. So if we were doing, if we were doing um, track state of Brachos, actually, I'm moving this one. If we were doing the track data broker, then we'd be like, what does it mean in the Shema'as? That it's not, it's not heard, right? Except um, it, it, it's, not, it's, not, it's not pushed away, but it's not heard unless you're actually with a, with a group. So there's, a, it, there's the, there's the, there's the um, negation of the negative, right? That it's not pushed away, but you don't have that additional, like that it's extra heard with the Tzibor, with the, uh, with the live people. It says, Minol and the Rega Havi Ritcha. How do we know that? It says Rega, it means that that was his anger. Just come back to Tosros. It says, The Logar Simon and the Rega Kememra. That was Rega in the amount of time that it said to speak, um, to speak the word, Kalem. Dim Lo Kain Hechi Mafik Mehai Krad, the Rega Kememra. So they're just saying that the Rega, when it says that, Kirega Baapo, so that's how they prove it. Okay, that, that was just going back to the other thing. So everything we read, yeah. what's the yes. takeaway? Takeaway. Okay, so we discussed why God got angry. What what does it mean? And, and when? And we discussed when, and we explained why he got angry again during specifically during that time frame. Right? It was the when is the time that the, like that's what second that it loses its redness in the in the in the crest. And the reason is because people are, are praying to the sun in the first three hours, which is something that I really actually kind of want to go into. You know, that's Mithros, the sun god right there. Um, and then we said that, like, during those first three hours that happened to coincide with the time that God is learning Torah, that's the time that, that the judgment is the most strict because the Torah is truth, right? Like, 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 like if someone knows, you know, someone knows I love them like crazy, right? But if someone knows that, like, if, if like, or uh, that if someone in Shear, if someone knows that love all my tummy, yeah, but if someone in Shear says something that, like, doesn't, that doesn't, like, like, that doesn't, like, you know, it, it doesn't have a proof to what he's saying, he's just saying something that he heard when he was growing up. You can play, play this out where it's like a few minutes left. But someone knows that, like, yo, we're going to say, like, yo, I get a stop shot. Yesterday, I, I hit Shlomo with a push. Yesterday, I hit Life with a push. Life. Uh, less than a minute right? left. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Yesterday, right? Yesterday, like, I think like, Torah is MS, Torah is truth. And like, we can't, like, we gotta, like, we gotta be like strict. Like, we gotta be like, we gotta be. So, uh, 
one thing I'm going to give the Shmuel to take back to Israel is this ukulele. And it just needs a little fix, maybe a little super glue with some C clamps. But yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's amazing. Shmuel knows all these chords. So. I know the chords. You're singing every single you're saying, Bulgaria. Yeah, you're singing this with me, right? Yeah. This is Hallelujah. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Yeah. 